Hello everyone, this is Coach Sunny, and for this video lesson, I'm going to go over how to make a very simple uh, lunch decision helper. Basically, whenever you you know want to eat something, you have to look through your kitchen and see what ingredients you have available. Maybe you can either make a pizza or like a sandwich or like a burrito or a wrap, but you have to like first look at everything you have and then come up with something that you have all the ingredients for and then make it and then eat it. Uh, to simplify that process, you get, you know, write a single program, a simple program that um, you, you type in or you input all the ingredients you have and it'll just tell you what to do and then you can just skip the step of having to make the decision and eat what the computer says, basically. Uh, to start, I have a Wii Scheme open. This is a website, WeScheme.org is uh, available for everybody. You can go in here and start typing some code and we'll use this to, to, uh, to make our, our decision helper today. Uh, the first thing I wanna show you is that um, you can type in text. Whenever you type text, they're called strings in Wii Scheme and they're usually wrapped around double quotes. And you can start by typing something like for lunch today, you should have a sandwich, something like that. And you, when you click run, it'll output the same thing over here, right? And then if you change this, for example, um, with a side of potato chips, or something like this. And then you click on again, it'll change over here because you're changing what the string is. What you can start doing now is instead of, you know, oh, I misspelled sandwich. Instead of sandwich, you can change this to a wrap. And then it'll change that. And then instead of that, side salad, etc., etc. But instead of having to do that manually for every ingredient that you have, you can start kind of putting everything into a list. A list is something wrapped in parentheses. And for the most part, everything in scheme is wrapped in parentheses. And you can uh, like basically list out maybe all the, the proteins you have available in your kitchen. So maybe like turkey and like chickpea and maybe you also have peanut butter and maybe you have meatballs. But I'll just make it singular, meatball, like that. When I press run, it'll print out the list that I have, but I don't necessarily wanna do that yet. So I wanna save this list and store it somewhere in the machine's like code to reference it later. I can achieve that by defining uh, this list and I can name it whatever I want. I'll call it proteins. And now make sure that everything's wrapped around parentheses. So to define the proteins means this list. So if I run this, the list doesn't print out anymore, but over here on the right, it's called the interactions window. If I type in proteins and then press enter, it'll print out my list, okay? So now what I can do is let's say in here, I can add something. I can say for lunch today, you should have a, and then I'll add a space there. And let me just really quickly make this and then I'll explain what I'm doing. Uh, I can type in some code, list ref, proteins one. So now look, when I run this, it says for lunch today, you should have a chickpea wrap with a side salad. But what happens? So I never type in chickpea in my code. I type in some weird things over here. What this means is that from this list proteins, I'm referencing, so list ref, short for reference, I'm referencing the thing in position number one, 
but then you might look at my list and say, wait, Turkey is number one. But in code, everything always or almost always starts with zero. The first thing is the number zero and then number one and number two. That's why chickpea is the first element. The zero element is turkey. So if I change this to zero, it'll make turkey. And then I can do zero, one, two, three, four. The fourth one should be meatball. Actually, zero, one, two, three. There's no four. I miscount it. It's zero for turkey, one for chickpea, and then I miscounted these as two, but it's just one. This is two, and then meatball is three. So if I do three, uh, it'll do meatball. Okay, so let me kind of fast forward here and make a couple more lists. My other list is going to be uh, like what kind of food I'm going to make, like methods per se. I can make a sandwich with those proteins. I can make a salad as well. I can make, uh, put them on crackers. And then I can also, uh, let's say, make a wrap. And that's that's four all four methods for four proteins. And then let's uh, add some veggies because you know veggies are good for for your body. And let's say I'm gonna make a list of carrots. What's another popular veggie? Tomatoes, maybe celery, and finally some broccoli. Everybody loves broccoli, right? Okay. So I have three lists, one of proteins, one of methods, and the other one of veggies. So now let me fix this, uh, this my sentence, my command, basically. And I'm going to define it as my lunch chooser. And this parentheses, I'm going to move it and put it over here like this. And now when I run this, nothing should happen, or I got an error because uh, I made this wrong. I have to wrap it in something else. So because lunch chooser is a variable, not a list, I have to, to do something special with all these strings, all these texts. And what I should do is put wrap them uh, inside a string append. Let me do it first, and I'll explain what this means. So I have one of one sentence, and then my list reference, and then another sentence, and then I'll close my define. I think that should be good. Yeah, so nothing happens because everything is just being defined. I'm telling the computer what each thing means. So if I type in proteins, it should print that list. If I type in methods, the other list, veggies, the other list, and if I type in lunch chooser, it should print out the sentence. Uh, and I think my face is covering it, so I'll print it again so you can see. And it's still covering it, so I'll print it again. There you go. So for lunch today, you should have a meatball wrap with a side salad. So notice that now everything is inside only one pair of double quotes because it appended it, it put it together, it combined all the strings. That's what string append does. But now I want to change how um, how this sentence is made because it's not always going to be uh, getting only for the proteins list. So right here, I need to add a similar thing to to my other for my other uh, lists for my methods and for my veggies. So let's say something like uh, for lunch today you should have and maybe not ah uh, but just pass in the protein and then what else so then I need a space so so let me just build it here and then do like list ref and then methods and then I'll pick two just for fun and then after you pass in the method you want to give it a side, so with a side of, 
So I'm just building my sentence so that it makes sense when I pass in my values. So list, ref, and then veggies, one. I think I got all of them. So now nothing should happen, but then when I type in lunch chooser, oops, oh man, I should press enter and not run. Lunch chooser, enter. For lunch today, you should have meatball on crackers with a side of tomatoes. Okay, but now if I run it again, I'll get the same sentence. And that is because these are referencing the same uh, thing in my list. It always gonna choose number three for proteins, number two for methods, and number one for veggies. What I want is to have this be a random uh, element of my list. For that, what I can do is make another a function and define it as something like uh, random food. And notice that I'm putting this in parentheses, and I'll, and I'll explain why. And then I pass in a food list. And then let me just uh, type in some code real quick. It's going to look similar to what I have down there. Food list. And from the food list, I'm going to do random and then length food list. So I know this is a lot of code. Let me just finish it and then I'll, I'll walk you through it. Let me fix it so it looks not too ugly. Okay, I think this is fine. Okay, so basically what this function is going to do, the name of it is random food and food list is a, a parameter, an input. It could be any name, I can call it X or whatever, but I'm just gonna call it food list so it makes sense. So random food, the function needs a list to be passed into it. It needs a parameter of a list. What happens inside of random food is that It'll grab the list and then instead of passing in like a number, it's going to choose a random number and it's going to choose a random number up to the length of foot list. So the length, length of the foot list in the case of proteins is four, right? Because it's turkey, chickpea, peanut butter, and meatball. So this is the same as writing random four. But let's say that my methods um, list had a fifth element or a sixth or seventh. I don't want to hard code it. So I don't want to make it always be four. I want to make it be like uh, customizable depending on the size of that list. Okay, so now let me use it down here and I'll, I hope, hopefully it'll make more sense once you see it in action. So I will do random food from proteins. And then the same thing for methods. And then the same thing for veggies. And then I have to get rid of the number. And then instead of typing it over here, I'm just gonna copy lunch chooser and add it to the bottom of this code, which means that whenever I run it, it'll also run this. So let's see. For lunch today, you should have turkey sandwich with a side of celery. If I run it again, it should be totally different. Turkey on crackers with broccoli, chickpea wrap, tomatoes, chick chickpea wrap broccoli, chickpea on crackers with broccoli, etc., etc. So every time I run this, it'll be different. I mean, if you run it several times, you might get the same one. Repeat it down the line, but for the most part, it's going to be random. And this will help you, you know, come up with a lunch option for today or depending on when you want to use this. So really quickly, a review, we made three lists, one of proteins, one of methods, one of veggies. Each list has four elements inside, depending on the name of whatever I made it. 
I also have this other function called random food that you can pass in any list into it and it will it'll return a random element from that list. So this is just picking a random word from that list basically. And then I have my lunch chooser, which uh, puts together, combines a bunch of strings. It has this sentence and then it picks a random element from the proteins list. It adds a space because if you don't add this space, it'll, it will look weird right here. Chickpea sandwich, chickpea salad. You need a space there. That's basically why we put that there. Let me put it back. And then it'll grab a random element from the methods and then add another piece of text and then a random veggies element. So that was basically how to, instead of looking at your kitchen and then deciding what to do, if you take a long time to decide things, just make a quick code, put in all your ingredients, click run, and then follow the command of the code. That's all for today. See you guys later.